Hello, good evening, everyone. Is our good voice evening, audible? Ram. Yes, it is. Good evening, Ram. Good evening, Raman. No, your voice is not audible for us. Can you try now? Ramana. Ah, yes. You're audible to us. Yeah, now, now, now we do hear okay. you. Okay, super. Couple of minutes, we will start our session. Hi, everyone. Hi, Lavi. Hello, friends. Hello, Madhu. Hi, Archana. Hello, Ka. Hi, Arputa. We just setting. Is there anyone new to meditation? No, I think we can start. Just confirm if the music and the voice is clear. Yes, sir. Okay, so the music is good. So friends, let us start. Kindly take a comfortable posture.
relaxed. As you take the comfortable posture of crossing your legs and clasping your hands and closing your eyes. The process of meditation is a state of being Rather, it is not even a process. It is a state of being. And we find ourselves in that state as we become a pure witness. Who are you? What are you doing? What is your mind doing? You just witness it. Everything related to who are you in this physical world doesn't matter now with our closed eyes, in our idle, relaxed posture, it does not matter. Your past does not matter, neither your future. The quicker we witness and disconnect ourselves from every past and every future, we easily find ourselves in the state of being as a pure witness. In that state of being, you become you, the real you, not the body, not the mind. Every time You become the mind. Easy way to connect to you is to witness the breath. Every time you connect to your body, easy way to connect to you is to witness, become aware of your breath. normal, natural breath. here together as a group. Are going to
to witness and connect to that real essence of who we are
last two minutes, friends. Slowly bring back your awareness. To your physical body and to your surroundings. Let us all be grateful for this life and this physical body we have with which we can achieve, do greater things. Let us be grateful to each and every one in our lives and to each and every experience. Last 20 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Slowly place your hands over your eyes for a few seconds. Whenever you are ready, you may open your eyes and take off your hands. some water and welcome back hope you all had a wonderful journey if anyone would like to share your experience kindly unmute yourself and please do or if you want to ask any questions kindly do the same thank you Wonderful, Ram, wonderful. It's, it's very pleasing and it's very calming. I want to know what is that, uh, the thing which you have played, really, it's so smooth, soothing. I want to buy that. <laughs> Maybe I can't play as good as you, but at least I can try. It's so wonderful. Great, great. It's which soothing one, so much, especially I was working. My head was so full. <laughs> the one which is the black one, I don't know what it's, it's called. Yeah, that's just yeah. very, very nice. And Yes. Yeah. Yeah, these are called happy drums. Ah, they're called happy drums. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, so they're, they're, they're just different notes. And uh, they're, they're cut notes. And, okay. Yeah, they're easy to carry. Oh. And easy to play. Okay. Yeah, really, it's uh, really wonderful. The music especially, and for you, Madhuram, also the way you are doing it. I used to do with the glasses and all these, but it is so soothing as if I was in China. I was feeling that as if I was really in China. <laughs> really a great pleasure to have such a lovely music. And I could see, and I also showing my husband, he's seriously working and because he's with the full of thin, I said that, take a break, just five minutes, take a break, just look at the couple and then, I was telling, but he's still struggling with some issues in the, uh, the you know, the, the online. And uh, it is so calming. I felt so nice. I never missed the classes. Actually, I went for a walk. Then I just thought, okay, I have to run, rush, rush, run. And now you made me to meditate on the, like in a berg, you know, like on a mountain. Actually, I go for a walk on the mountains. 
so then i'm starting not like sitting at home inside but i'm sitting and there i'm just doing the meditation i feel so calm and so nice and uh, to meet a person like you know to introduce myself my own way uh, it's so nice it's a brilliant experience i would say <laughs> yeah thank you so much thank you thank you thank you man thank you so much ramana and madhuka it was so super the session and i felt the energy around me while i was meditating no it, i had a huge difference between the music you put uh, usually and when you play directly it really uh, speaks uh, the energy uh, the vibration level uh, so thank you so much it was a new experience for me today wonderful nice to hear arpita happy that you liked yeah. it and you also connected it energetically wonderful yes i never felt this kind of energy before and today i was really uh, um a new kind of meditating uh, feeling yeah thank you super thank you thank you so lovely to see you both thank you so much madam ma'am thank you ram sir thank you sir today thank you thank you so much i saw some light so i and i was meditating today thank you thank you thank so much you. this is my wonderful very good wonderful we have some lot of chat things going on we could not read the computer is a little bit far are there any questions so maybe you can unmute and ask or if you all have had wonderful experience we are happy for mm -hmm. that it's not so very visible huh? yeah <laughs> okay yes uh, indra ji was telling that uh, the music was uh, like om om sound uh -huh. okay. yes uh, wonderful indra ji because uh, uh, the vibration of this uh, this instrument this one especially this is uh, connected to the crown chakra sahasrara chakra so when it is being played you feel the vibration of om you know the frequency of om so it goes around your ears yes so that is what you have experienced i'm glad yeah you have experienced that wonderful any more questions or sharings friends hi madhu and ram it was wonderful beautiful yeah for me it was like uh, being in a temple and uh, ringing the bell tem mm. temple bells all the time with different kinds of temple bells and uh, it was um, i think for a long time i've been uh, for a couple of weeks i was not able to get into the proper mode of meditative mode but today it was so nice it was very very fulfilling session yeah thank you mm. Super. Very happy to hear that. Hello, Ram and Madhu. Yes, Hi, Ashna. Ashna here. Yeah. Thank you for the meditation. Like I just remember only one thing. Um, I just, I just felt like from voice or something asking, "Are you ready?" That's the only one thing which I remember in today's mm -hmm. session. Nothing else. I thought, what was that? Like I, you know, in my. i don't know i don't know how to keep it in proper words but i remember that uh, and then i'm asking yes i am those two things that's it nothing else mm. uh, it was a very deep one very very deep meditation very good thank you earlier i would like to know what it is but this is just i'm just going okay something was there i would like uh, earlier i would use the my intuitive mind or you know what do you call that analytic analytical mind But this is not okay. Something else. Okay, I said yes. I'm ready. I don't know for what. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Great, great to hear that, Ashna. Yeah, you. it was something different, and I never have uh, much of experiences. I just go with the flow. If it is peaceful, okay. If it is disturb, okay. If it is deep, well and very good. If there's something else coming, well and very, you know, very nice. But today, like you know, already ready was there. That sentence I remember so, you know, Alexi yaad hai. Thank you. 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 Thank
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hi. Hi, Madhu. Hi, Ram. Yo, Minaji. It was so quick. I was still in meditating. And whenever I come to this live session, I feel like I get shivers because I think that's the energy flow maybe. Always shivering. Whenever Ram plays that happy drums, I feel like I should buy next day. I'll be on Amazon next day looking. But again, if, if we play only that happy drums, I don't think so. That will be a, a good uh, music meditation without your crystal. Both together is very good, mm -hmm. actually. I don't know how it looks if only happy drums, if we play meditating. It's, it's good, even it, it's alone good even. also. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So again, tomorrow I'll be on Amazon again. <laughs> Until next time when you play, I'll be searching. But I, it's been, I think, a year I was searching it. I couldn't uh, um, get which one to buy. Because I think Ram said that we need to get in Bali or something. No, uh, happy some... drum, steel, tongue, happy drum, something. Yeah, mm -hmm. this time I'll buy for sure. There are many you can find. Uh... They're called tongue drums. Yeah, there are many actually on Amazon. A lot from Russia side. They're also good to try. I want to ask, what inspired you, Ram, to buy the happy drums? Is it Madhu while playing crystals? Did you go and did you buy the happy drums? No, Madhu had got these uh, for me. So then uh, because she got, I started playing, you know. <laughs> I'll nice. tell you the story. I'll tell you the story. You know, actually, you know, like Ram is a very good drummer in the sense, like he. I didn't see him doing drums, but uh, he on the table. You know, like yeah. he, uh, you know, like in the school or in the college, we make yeah. that song. Right? Uh, so he he does it very well. You know, like with a proper tune. So I was searching, and he's very much interested to get uh, hand drums or. Uh, hand pans or all these things so they, they were very expensive and however they were not available at that time few years back so I thought okay uh, uh, we, our gentleman friend had this this instrument so that inspired me to get to surprise him with this and uh, and I'm glad that he's enjoying and we together are uh, enjoying playing this instrument yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, That's nice. Maybe I need to buy for my husband as well because in the kitchen, <laughs> when he comes into the kitchen, you know, on the cooking platform, he'll be playing the uh, dra da, what do you call? I'll say in Telugu, dapu. dapu <laughs> you yes. know that? Yeah, I'll say, stop yes. your dapu. Don't play that in the kitchen. Maybe <laughs> I'll buy for him as well. It will turn out into good music. <laughs> then for him to that. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And uh, I I'm reading a book. Uh, I think you all you all read that you forever by Lop Sangrampa, and uh, in that it is mentioned that if you if you don't want to kill animals for meat, if you think that is a harming, how do you justify you are killing the virus that is in your body for if it is a TB, you'll you'll use medicine to cure to TB and uh, uh, cancer as well, right? you will be treating that diseases. How do you justify that? Can you please explain that? Yeah, so um, there are aspects on uh, Lob Sang Rampa's You Forever, particularly related to, you know, uh, meat eating. Mm -hmm. So that was only one of the topics that's uh, not aligned to the spiritual wisdom in the You Forever mm -hmm. book. Rest of the content is completely aligned um, to the higher understandings. And related to this topic, you know, um, that is why um, many masters also say diseases are part of our uh, karmic cleansing that we, let's say, get into our body. So that is why many spiritual masters, they say no doctor, no medicine, because it is a part of the cleansing. And... Uh, uh, curing it in with the uh, medicines is only postponing partly uh, the karmic things. So uh, you can relate it that way. Basically, then don't do that because that is also kind of postponing or suppressing the karma. Okay. Or in a way or other, uh, that karmic part need to be faced okay, sure. sooner or later. Yeah. 
Thank you. Thank for thank example, you. Ramana Maharshi was uh, yeah. uh, was the one who was uh, who was having this tumor, and uh, it was all you know the um, what do you say that the wound was very worse that there were uh, there were some germs or germs no the the small um, you know the crawling things I don't know some things so they were uh, they were all coming to on his wound. You know, like, uh, and uh, Ramana Maharshi did not get treated, uh, though the doctors were telling him you should get treated. He never said, he never accepted it. And uh, whenever the, the insects or something like that, they fell down, he takes that and he puts on his, uh, uh, on his uh, wound. And he says, at least my body is being used for that, uh, you know, like uh, the germs or the, the, the insects, they can, they can take my, my body as, uh, as their food. So this is what they did not, the masters did not interfere also even to their bodies as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Madhu. Thank you very much. So the book's name, Madhvi, it is You Forever by Lopsanti Rampa. You Forever. So we have that book whenever you are here, like you can, you can get it. Ah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I should I should have collected some books last time when I met, uh, but with, with of all my excitement and everything, I couldn't take one at least. <laughs> yeah, next time when I come, then ah, but this time you should visit me so that you can see the bags <laughs> by bicycling. <laughs> Madhu, perhaps we should have another book reading thing, Madhu. Long time. Yes. Okay. Plan that. You know, the only thing is in yeah. the evening we have uh, various masters taking sessions, so I don't want to, because it is very, oh. very important to, to learn from everybody, right? So, like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, there was one question related with the this uh, enlightenment or no death. It happens at, uh, like that session is usually in the night, our night times. Mm -hmm. So I usually um, uh, update uh, myself with that in my YouTube channel. So there was one question regarding to that. So is there any connection from one session to other or is it just like from random topics? You no, know, it's random based... topics actually. There is achha, no achha. It's not like a flow. It's like a random topic book I'm reading. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the day 21 was very, very nice. You know, the yeah. actual uh, world thing. Yes. Uh, it was really good. Uh, yeah. James Van Prague. Yes. Hmm? By James Van uh, Prague. Is yeah, it? and I really need to read a little bit more about him, you know, mm -hmm. though you gave introduction. But the thing, you know, that was uh, even there in the autobiography of a yogi, mm -hmm. you know, the thing about the astral world. As I said, there was a, one complete chapter dedicated to that uh, description, how mm -hmm. things are into that. Mm -hmm. But this was more, I mean, like it was more, I think, connecting because of the language. Uh, because okay. autographs, yeah, it is like a little bit complicated, the language. But this one was more comprehensible. And it was really relieving to know that, you know, yeah, you know, people are really going to a better place. Yes. Yeah. Very, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Arjuna. Yes, Tasika. Uh, thank you, Madhuridi and Ram sir, for wonderful meditation. It was really nice. Um, uh, just a moment, my cuckoo clock. Okay. Um, so I would like to share a personal experience which uh, happened yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, uh, purchasing uh, a pyramid for meditation mm -hmm. and my husband happened to have a see, uh, see it that what I was doing. Mm -hmm. and the, he is of critic mind mm -hmm. and yet doesn't believe which is not proved by science. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, his thoughts were that uh, uh, Rasika, that you are doing a meditation. That uh, until that point it is fine, but I think uh, you are falling into something which I don't think is it's right for you. Mm -hmm. And um, as a as a spouse, it's my duty uh, to stop you here. Mm -hmm. um, and if I was uh, Rasika before one month, I would have really lashed out at him mm -hmm. um, and would have said that it's my opinion. I can do anything about what I want. Mm -hmm. But because of the books uh, I read and because of the meditation, 
because I was feeling convinced, as you said, a, a clarity in your mind. Mm -hmm. I could only say to him that um, I, I perfectly agree, and I uh, and I am. Uh, you are right that as a spouse, it's your duty if you feel uh, that I'm falling into something. So thank mm -hmm. you for that. Um, and uh, uh, so uh, as I don't know much science about, you know, what pyramids do, so I will read about it. I will share those things with you. And then if you feel comfortable, uh, then I will get it. So until then, uh, I will keep on meditating because... Um, uh, as you knew me, uh, uh, if I would a previous Rasika again, then uh, I would have got the pyramid on the first day. But mm -hmm. I didn't do that. I tried for 30 days. I tried meditating. And then my, I felt I want to go to a next level. Then I inquired and then this is my step uh, to buy the pyramid to get a next level experience. So uh, again, as you are, if you are saying that it's, it's, uh, I'm falling into something and if you're not ready, it's fine. That means it's not ready to come to me yet. So it's okay. Uh, I will wait for it. And when you say you are fine, it's okay, Rasika, you can get it. Then I will get it. Then he, then he replied to me uh, that he said to me that uh, I will never say yes to this. Then mm -hmm. I said, okay, but at least you will be at some point that you will say that, uh, you know, I don't agree with this, but it's okay. You can get it. At least at that level, you can come. So mm -hmm. I will go for it. And uh, so I, I will respect your opinion and I won't get it. I'll keep on meditating. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and I, I didn't feel any anger. I, I didn't feel a disappointment. I didn't feel anxious. Uh, so it was uh, really, uh, I was calm within and I knew that someday, even if he is not convinced, uh, it will come to me and I'll get it. So, uh, and, and then I started listening about what exactly it does. It's not yet proved. I, I don't know. I, I couldn't find anything which I can show to him that it is proved by science. If you have something, please share it with me so I can share it with him. But I'm not in a hurry, as I, I realized that I'm not in a hurry to prove anything to him, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, uh, so that's what I wanted to share with you. Thank, thank you so much. Very nice to hear that uh, transformational thing, Rasikaji. You did not put more salt or chili in the night dinner, Rasikaji. <laughs> 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 good, good, to, good to hear this transformation because... It shows how uh, we go from reactive mode into responding, mode. A responding or, you know, um, a more harmonious mode. So, so wonderful. Yes. And mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you know, when the seeking starts, everything falls in place. So, yeah. Very good. Very good job, Rasika. There are nice books on pyramid energy and, uh, you know, when you connect and understand about pyramids, then automatically they will find you, not that you find them. Just like yeah. books choose mm -hmm. us, similarly mm -hmm. pyramids will find us. Right. Same as the crystals will choose us or find us. Mm -hmm. So um, there are many, many nice books on pyramids. Okay. We will share you some titles, then you can choose which one connects to you and start reading. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, friends. Anybody else? Okay, okay. I have one question to ask Ram. You know, uh, truth is always the same, right? We can't fake the truth. We can't hide it as well. But like that, soul is also, we believe in soul and reincarnation and rebirths, being Hindus or... And how about different religions? They don't believe that there is, they don't say, like, for example, my Christian friends, they say there is no rebirth, no incarnation. When I say the soul is eternal, and whatever you learn in this journey, in the or in this life it will be carried with your soul like the spiritual knowledge or the knowledge for example 
it will be with the soul and when you reincarnate the knowledge continues right it will be in the, that's what i i i read in the books so they don't believe in it they said the soul is imaginary and if whatever we are reading in books and whatever many masters have told us guided us if that's the truth why can't truth be everywhere the same my different religious speak different things then yeah so uh, you know um, there are people who seek and and when they are seeking and they are ready to understand the truth is readily available because it is not somewhere it is within each one of us right even enlightenment when we speak it is not a destination where we arrive it is a state where we realize where we find ourselves so similarly it is for the truth so if somebody needs to find it it can be find in a tree not in a religion it can be find in a flower so uh, truth is everywhere and for one who searches for it it is readily available um the other day also the same question came up and uh, religion means nothing but uh, re ligate means reconnect so reconnecting is the true religion so we are all to, to what are we reconnecting to reconnecting to our own self so that is the religion so uh, whatever is the understanding as of now uh, that is available sooner or later when people it truly connect they really get to the right religion and connect to their own self and understand and find the truth which is inside everyone and everywhere around thank you thank you Hello Ram this is Mrudula can you hear me Yeah hi Mrudula ji I just heard just a little bit I'm trying to at work so um I shared this with my uh my classmates from medical school about religion can you hear me okay Yeah yeah So I sent them a message um so I have the three religious books in my home as you know but So when Buddha came and when Christ came and even Krishna I don't think they came to uh, they came to teach us they came to teach divinity I think I posted we are the ones who made them into religion so the point is they wanted to teach us as that we are divine beings and show us examples of divinity that's what they came to show us we as human beings created somehow religion from that that kind of um, education that we got from them or that kind of learning so that is my understanding so that's what i was sharing with my classmates so that um because there's always a struggle between religion and and self but it's all the same they came to teach us of, of our own divine nature so anyway that's what my my take on it very well comments madhura no very well said true we we all have these great uh, beings in in the existence to make everyone realize about the divinity true very well said thank you thank you for that madhura ji Yes, friends. Any any other sharings? All right. So, friends, we will all see each other again tomorrow morning uh, for the enlightenment on no death, twenty uh, third day. And tomorrow evening we will be having uh, Master Nilima. She will be coming and uh, sharing her uh, uh, guided meditation and also a topic. Please do join us and. Uh, 
let us all meditate more uh, as always raise our vibrations so that uh, um, the whole earth gets uh, healed because of our contribution in meditating so thank you so much friends with this uh, have a lovely day and a lovely night and uh, namaste to all bye bye namaste catch you all soon bye bye thank you so much bye bye arpita thank you bye bye rasika bye bye, bye.